Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. Heroes come and go, but legends, they live forever. So today we thought we'd examine the legendary Martina Hingis, who is going to close the curtain on her fantastic career at the WTA Finals. We're going to celebrate Martina's brilliant career in two parts. Today, our top five Martina Hingis partnerships. Launching our list, Martina and Anna Kornikova. The doubles duo, nicknamed the Spice Girls, brought energy, attitude, and star power to the court, winning the 1999 Australian Open doubles crown. That season, they went on to win Indian Wells, Rome, Eastbourne, and the WTA Finals. In a past interview with Tennis Now, Martina picked Anna as probably her favorite partner because she said they had so much fun together. Now, you may recall back in 2010, Anna and Martina reunited to play the ladies' legends doubles at Wimbledon. Here's what the then 29-year-olds told the BBC about their reunion. I definitely, I mean, with Helena Sukova, it was my first title 15 years ago in doubles that I had won with her. So today we'll be on the other side and it's just great fun we had in the last match and just, uh, you know, going out there, enjoying the crowd. I think, I hope they enjoy our game as well. And I think it was a great atmosphere and uh, hopefully the fans, like Martina said, hopefully the fans enjoyed it. But we also had uh, an amazing time. I mean, especially for me, I haven't played in eight years and, and on, to be back on such a stage as Wimbledon <laughs> yeah, exactly. and with Martina, it's such an it's honor like and I'm just, cool. you know, really grateful and excited to be back here. Partnership number four, Martina Hingis and Jana Novotna. In 1998, the pair won the U.S. Open Doubles Championship, completing the calendar year doubles Grand Slam for the Swiss, joining Martina Navratilova and Pam Shriver as only the third woman to complete the doubles calendar slam in the Open era. The combination of Jana's kick serve and slick backhand, with Hingis' sharp return and blurring hand speed, made this truly a very special doubles team. Martina has said she felt this was the strongest partnership of her career. Coming in at number three, Martina created pure magic with Leander Pays. Remember this outrageous Hingis winner at Wimbledon? Yes, and fitting that Hingis should finish it. With these two touch artists, you get points worth framing, like the ones we saw at the 2015 Australian Open. Yes, and fitting that Hingis should finish it. That year, Martina and Leander swept the Australian Open, Wimbledon, and U.S. Open mixed doubles titles, and in 2016, they completed the career Grand Slam in mixed doubles, winning Roland Garros in 2016. At number two on our list is a team so cool, it spawned a nickname, Santina. Sonia Mirza and Martina Hingis delighted fans with their dynamic brand of doubles. Riding Sonia's massive forehand and Martina's all-court acumen, the ladies won the 2015 Wimbledon and U.S. Open titles and then went on to capture the 2016 Australian Open before splitting later that season. And at the very top of our list, it is Swiss Bliss. That's right, Martina and the Maestro. In 2001, Hingis and Roger Federer joined forces to lead Switzerland to the Hopman Cup Championship with a win over Monica Seles and Jan Michael Gamble in the final in our favorite Hingis pairing of all time. That actually, though, wasn't the first time these two shared the court. No, no. The young Roger Federer was a ball boy during Martina's matches in Switzerland. Can you imagine? Playing with Roger is a dream for so many standout players, which raises the question, who does Roger himself dream of playing with? Here's what the maestro told the IPTL. A dream mixed doubles partner. Probably Martina Hingis. I think she was phenomenal. I had the, ch the chance to play with her already. Wow. Okay. And here's what Martina told the Hall of Fame on her dream doubles partner. If I could pick four players past and present would be Roger Federer. I would pick him as a partner against uh, Martina Navratilova and Pete Sampras. Such a great career, and we have more highlights to come, so stay tuned. That's it for now. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time.